All right, so in this video, I'll be going over how to rebind for a hat in time. I'll go over where to find your input files, how to read the input files, and how to rebind, and then some suggestions for uh, keyboard binds, and then suggestions for controller binds, and then a very useful back to hub bind, and the even more useful automatic text smashing bind for both keyboard and controller. So you'll want to navigate to your game uh, game files. I'm using the downpatched version that I did in the previous video in this playlist. So go to Head in Time Game, Config, and Gamepads. And I'm just going to open uh, this one, for example, to show uh, how to read the input file. You can change the name of your con controller, by the way. Like, that's how it will appear in game. You can name it something funny if you want. First, you will have a list of buttons. And this is just like, you have like the A button, that is zero. You have the B button, which is one, and like so on. You have pressing down the left stick will be eight. Uh, pressing up on your D-pad is 12, uh, just like, yeah. And then down here will be how you will actually uh, bind your actions. These are the actions of the game, your jump, your attack, etc. So here, uh, with button ID 0 under jump, I can tell that button 0 here is A, so that is my jump button. And that is also the number that you'll be replacing. If I would, like, for example, like to rebind my jump to my left bumper for whatever reason, I have 4, I can replace this number with 4, as an example. Or if I want to have both of them, I can add a new line below, just enter and put another button ID and then put 4 here. Now I have both the bumper and my normal jump button. But uh, I don't actually want that. Now, for the keyboard, how you're going to rebind it for keyboard is the same concept. The buttons list is just a lot longer because the keyboard has a lot of buttons on it. And your actions are down here. So so the unintuitive names, uh, I will explain, like share is your camera bandage button, crouch is your dive button, uh, start is your pause button, page right and page left are some menu buttons, some menus have pages in them, you'll use those to navigate those. This is your like sprint button or your brewer button or whatever hat you have equipped, that's uh, the button you'll use for that. This is your hat wheel button. Uh, up and down are like uh, some emotes you have without the, the emote wheel. You can use those to smug dance. And then left and right is your hat switching. Your fast hat switching without uh, the hat wheel. So for keyboard, some suggested rebinds is uh, you might want to move your dive away from control to a mouse button. If you have side mouse buttons, those are ideal. So you can uh, more comfortably use hat ability and dives in quick succession, as having them on shift and control can get awkward for some players. If you don't mind that, you can just keep it on control. For the last keyboard suggestion, you can get your fast hat switches on your scroll wheel. This is scroll up and scroll down, 256 and 257. And you will want to find zoom in and zoom out and just remove the ID for those, as that will get in the way. So that w this will make it so you can use your scroll wheel to switch your hats, which is a much more comfortable way uh, to switch your hats as you can keep moving and sprinting and all that while switching your hats. You will also need to be aware that if you're using your scroll wheel to switch your hats, it will also make your scroll wheel, uh, instead of going up and down in the menus, it will go left and right. So just be aware of that. So, for controller, most uh, controllers uh, will use this file, actually. Uh, regardless of what controller you have, most of them will use this file. But if uh, this file is not working, then you can try, like, uh, finding your name here, controller name, like the, the Switch controller, and you can uh, use that instead. But most uh, controllers, the way Windows and Steam works, will it will uh, emulate an Xbox 360 controller for you. So, you will open that file most of the time. So suggested, bind, suggested binds for controller is uh, 
removing the focus lookup bind just to have a free button and using this one for your text mesh instead. And for that, you will uh, remove the button ID for it here, which is uh, Y or triangle. It's the, uh, the top face button on the right of your controller. And you'll just remove the focus lookup thing because it is entirely pointless. So another recommendation is uh, finding your pause button and moving it to one of your bumpers. I personally like uh, swapping the pause button with the hat ability button. So I just swap those two numbers, four and seven. So now my hat wheel and my pause button have swap places. And this will just make menuing or like crafting your hat or equipping your hookshot a little bit more comfortable. And you uh, very rarely use the hat wheel, so this is just a better place to have that as a awkward button to press every now and then. So for my last suggestion, I will suggest you rebind your emote wheel to someplace else, because the default is clicking down your left stick. And then you will also use your left stick to select the emote, which is extremely awkward to input when you're trying to go fast. So. I personally move it to my right joystick, so I click down my right joystick and then use the left joystick to select an emote, which is much more comfortable. You can also move it to a bumper button, just make sure it's not overlapping with some other action. So you might have to find some uh, button and move other buttons around for this to uh, fit. But I personally just swap the reverse camera snap and the emote. So as a final suggestion for both keyboard and controller players, this is a button that will help you go back to hub very quickly. It's a button that scrolls down a menu uh, instantly. So if you're on a uh, controller, you will want to switch the keyboard when you go back to hub because it's just faster and you have plenty of time to do that. So you will also want this bind. So first of all, binding uh, your pause to Q is a nice thing to have. It's just closer to WASD. Uh, this is not as important if you're playing on controller, but uh, yeah, pause on Q is nice. And then for the actual scroll down button, you'll want to choose a button preferably close to your pause button that you can use. I like using uh, caps lock, which is uh, ID 20. And you will want to bind this key under zoom in. And you will want to bind it under hotkey down. And you will want to bind it under move Y. But for the move Y, you will want to make sure there's a minus in front of the button ID because otherwise it will scroll up instead of down. And as a safety measure, if you, if you use this button outside of a menu, it will zoom in your camera and you can't move. So you should have some sort of backup button that you can press under zoom out so you can undo that in case you accidentally press this button while you're not in the pause screen. So I'm going to choose C just to demonstrate that. And I'll now uh, go in game to show you how this works. All right, I'm in game here to show off how this bind works. I have Q to pause and caps lock to scroll down. And as you can see, it selects the option very, very quickly. Uh, all you got to make sure is you do not move your mouse, because if you move your mouse, it will go off of the option immediately. So a good way to prevent moving your mouse accidentally is just to lift it up in the air before you do this. And then it will just stay there. And then you just do two left clicks to go back to hub. I messed that one up. What can happen if you press it for too short, you will select the sticker option instead. So you want to make sure that you wait just a tiny bit, but then you just do two left clicks to go back to hub. So you can also use this scroll down button to uh, assign contracts in Subcon Forest very quickly. If you are using this scroll down button and you accidentally use it in game, then your camera will zoom out, or sorry, zoom in like this and you can't move so you need to make sure you have something bound to zoom out so you can get out of the state in case that actually happens so now that we have that i will go over how to set up your instant uh, text mashing bind and if you're on controller you will want to make sure you have a free button that you are not using for anything else which is uh, a focus lookup is a good thing to get rid of and then you have your top face button that you're not using for anything so to actually bind the text mesh, even if you're playing on controller, you will be using the keyboard file to bind it. 
and what you will do is you will find hat menu cancel in your keyboard file and you will add button ID 256. You will add it, you will not replace the right click, you will just add 256. And what this will do for some reason is uh, it will turn your right click into a turbo bind. So now when you right click, when you hold down right click, you will uh, menu cancel 30 times a second, which uh, also advances text. So it will be your text matching bind. Uh, don't go around binding this to other places uh, because uh, turbo binds are only allowed for a few specific things, and this is one of them. Uh, uh, this one is okay because it's by itself, so it's not a turbo bind. But if you have the scroll wheel bind uh, with any other regular bind, it will turn the regular bind into a turbo bind. So just be careful with that. Do not use that anywhere else. And additionally, you will want to move your hat wheel to a different button because uh, you will want to text match with your right click. And if you press text match too early, then you will bring up your hat wheel instead. And this is very awkward and annoying. So moving your hat wheel to a different button is a good idea. I personally like using T, which is uh, 84 in this list. So I would just go and replace uh, ability swap with uh, T, 84. So if you're using the automatic text meshing bind, then it will make your scroll wheel inoperable for menuing. It will make your scroll up go back in the menu. So just don't use your scroll wheel in menus. So that should cover how to do that. If you're on keyboard, you're, uh, you're set now. You have your fast text match bind. You can just go in game, go open a cutscene somewhere, and just hold right click, and it should spam through your text for you. But if you're in controller, you will need to do uh, one bit of additional setup, and you will need to open uh, the Steam here. Uh, this is regardless if you're playing on a down patch version or not, you will still be using Steam uh, here. And you will want to go to your controller layout here. If you do not see this button, you will have to open big picture mode. This is going to be loud. Uh, nothing I can do about that. Let's see if I can move this to my other monitor. There we go. And you will want to go to the menu down here and to your settings and to your controller settings. And you will want to make sure that whatever controller you have, that uh, you have support enabled for it. So whether that be an Xbox controller, a PlayStation controller, a Switch Pro, or some other generic controller, you'll want to make sure that is enabled. And then you can go back, and you can go to this power option and exit big picture mode. Then you can go back to the game, and you should see a controller layout here. If, if you still don't see it, just restart Steam, and if it's still not there, I'm sorry, I can't help you further. You will have to Google your way into getting this button here. But when you have that, you can press controller layout. So what that will do is it will bring up this uh, menu for you. You can click edit layout and then find the button that you selected earlier. Uh, this is the top face button we were talking about uh, earlier that I recommended with the focus lookup and that. So that's a free button right now. And you can just click this and you will go to uh, the mouse tab and you will select right mouse click. And then you have that and you can uh, close out of this. And you should uh, be able to now press that button in game and it will behave as a right click when you play.